We're about to go to the plot to get some work done in the garden right now. Danny is going with me. I bought another trellis. So he's gonna build it for me this time. I have some seeds in here in this bag that I'm going to be trying to sow there. Oh, the sun is really strong now. I think it's a good thing. Do we need to take anything else? Nope. Even though I just posted this week that I prefer to garden in the morning, I will still do it in the afternoon if I have to, like today. We are both actually really tired from work, but I really wanted to get this done because, oh, the seedlings, I knew we were forgetting something. So our seedlings are, struggling the watermelon that i planted for danny he's really wanting watermelon and the squash so you want to get going i'll get the seedlings you want to go first sure. so i'll see you there we wanted to get this trellis done this week because i'm already really behind i should have really done it last week to have those plants climbing they are in a really small pot so they really needed to be planted out so this is the squash that we're going to put up there the mini watermelon here this other guy i'm going to take it too I'm not taking the cart today, I'm going to put it in this bag and just hope they don't get super squished. And he's actually not here yet, so maybe he went somewhere else on his way. We'll wait for him. But there's one thing here that I did at the plot this week I want to show you guys. I moved the potatoes in the buckets to here because they were getting very shaded in that spot over there. I mentioned that on the garden tour. I did get a chance to do that a little bit earlier and they seem to be doing really good. They do have some damage on their leaf, I noticed when I was moving. It looks like maybe a beetle, some sort of beetle damage, so I hope it's not a potato beetle or anything like this. But there's little holes everywhere, so if you know what that is, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll really, really appreciate it, but all of them seem to have a little bit. First of all, let me take these guys out of here. I'm going to take these seeds out too. It actually rained last night too, so I did not have to water the garden again today. I did not come here in the morning, so let's check how everything is looking. Everything seems to be doing really good. I guess the garden is really loving this rain. And we got a chance to actually finish cutting that peach tree that was sick here. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this space. For now, it's kind of waiting here. I have a little eggplant that I put there so I can use that up ahead of extra seedling, but I don't know if it stayed there. And there's a little A-frame cage for those two squashes that I think is too small. So I'm thinking if we should just leave this open to let those squash remain in there. So the other trellis that we got is just like this one over here. We're going to put it right next to it. going to go right here where this corn and peppers are. So the bed right next to it. But Danny has a trellis. So I have to wait for him to start, but there's always work to be done here So what I'm gonna do now is take care of these tomatoes as you can see they're growing really fast This one's already falling over and there is lots of new suckers even though I came here this week and pruned some of them So I'm gonna go ahead and start Doing that now while I'm waiting for him We're going to put my tools into this basket here so it doesn't get contaminated with the stuff in the soil. Should definitely have done that earlier, but oh well, I guess I remembered. But let me show you guys this. These beans, they were volunteers here from last year, so I did put a little pole for them to climb, but they're kind of vining on the ground, so I'm gonna try to make them climb up here and I might use some twine to start training them to go the right way. I actually don't know what kind those are since they were from last year. We'll find out. Too many plants in here. I'm gonna take this one out. Just... Where did you go? I saw Eric. Oh, no way. I thought he would have walked by us. I walked, but I didn't see you. Why didn't you invite him to come here? They're getting ready to go somewhere. All right, Danny's here. We're gonna start building the trellis. He's doing it this time. I'm sure you don't do much faster than I did. Where is it gonna go? It's gonna go right here in between those two beds. So since we lost the corn that was here, I thought we could put around here so these beans have somewhere to climb. Mm -hmm. And then if you wanna line with this one over here, you can tie this up here and then make a line to make sure that they are the same spot. So maybe here. Oh yeah, that's perfect, because then the beans are going to cross 
You can be there on the inside or the outside. We got a lot of compliments for your garden and say, well, that's not us. We, we, <laughs> hang out, we just hang out here being lazy or doing barbecue. You can take the credit. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but it's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Just want to say hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye, guys. I'm done pruning and taking the tomatoes and Danny is almost done with the trellis too. I was thinking to put this squash right here on this side, right behind those beans to climb up here. And then the watermelon in here. Those peppers are not doing really good, so I keep debating if we should take them out or not. I might put the watermelon to climb right here on this side and maybe move this guy or something. It would just come straight up here. All right, let's get to it so we can go home and cook some dinner. Do you want to plant this one? You can think twice. Yeah, yeah if sure. you don't mind, I appreciate yeah. it. Sure, I'll just go, turn go. this off. So we're already back home now and I have to harvest some stuff for dinner. I have all of these peas here that are again ready to be harvested. And check this out. I also have some peas all the way up there that I almost totally missed it. I was actually checking for some pears on that tree earlier and that's when I saw those peas all the way up there. I'm glad I saw because they're already getting a bit too big to mature so they might be a little tough but we're gonna eat them anyway. I'm gonna end this little vlog here so I can go cook dinner. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.